Land is an incentive for development, though 70% of landlords have no legal documentation. The Minister for Lands, Housing and Urban Development, Judith Nabakoba, says the Lands Ministry is upscaling land registration to phase out land wrangles. The government now needs to address the issues by registering land and issuing legal documentation to the 70% unregistered landowners in the country. I'm confident that land tenure security shall be achieved through the, the mobilization and implementation of the SEDEP, land component interventions, and other government programs. Nabakoba says securing a proper land tenure system will help the NRM government fulfill its manifesto of poverty alleviation, which is possible with legal access to land. We are all aware that NRM policy to fight poverty through wealth creation is anchored on land. Upscaling the implementation of the systematic land adjudication and certification to support the parish development model pillars of production, storage, processing, marketing, financial inclusion, infrastructure, economic services, and mindset change. Nabakoba raised concerns of land inequalities, which do not only escalate poverty levels, but also increase food insecurity, among others. And lack of ownership of land by the marginalized and vulnerable groups in the country is a key factor keeping people in poverty. In this way, land inequalities perpetuate poverty. If most of our people are hungry and without land to produce food, then we risk excavating food insecurity and depending on food handouts. Land inequality undermines the right of marginalized and vulnerable groups and their exposure to gender violence and reduced productivity. Government has been asked to consider land reforms to enable the ordinary and investors adequately utilize their land for development. With the Institute of Land Tenure, Ugandans from the parish level will be able to create wealth on their land through farming, manufacturing, value addition, develop and pay taxes to the government. The whole idea was really to bring together investors, uh, private sector companies, uh, uh, and the government to think about how to improve investments uh, in land that are respectful of uh, decent work, environmental protection. So very, very complex issues that are brought together. Mary Namkose, UBC News. The